Hello and welcome back to another episode of Internal Rambles. This is your girl Rochelle and this is an anniversary episode. This is the one year anniversary episode of Internal Rambles. This is just actually a quick celebratory episode. (laughs) I was going back and forth on whether or not I was going to do this because the anniversary episode, just kind of doing something special for Internal Rambles is actually the episode that was released a few hours earlier, which was The Male Perspective featuring G.O. the first time Internal Rambles has ever had a guest. Please check that out if you have not checked that episode out. It is a really awesome, amazing, incredible (laughs) episode. Just talking about relationships and other things from the male perspective. Gia was one of my closest friends. We've been friends for over 15 years and he is one of those individuals that's very honest, very straight, no chaser, and it's just, it's a really great episode, so check that out. But I was mulling over, should I just do an episode just celebrating the fact that I've been podcasting for a year, and next week is the first episode of season three, and just kind of tying up loose ends, and so I was like, yeah, I should do that. So this is what this episode is going to be. So season three of Internal Rambles, the first episode starts on October 20th and I just want to, I've been talking about podcasting and how to do a podcast in my previous episode. My birthday episode talks about the logistics of starting a podcast and what you may need to start a podcast and a little bit about promoting a podcast. So if you're interested in that. And if you're interested in podcasting and starting a podcast, I gave a little bit of information. I'm no expert by no means, but I just gave a little a little information on how to start a podcast if you want to start one yourself. So check that out. But I have been talking about my journey of podcasting over the last few episodes, but I have missed one important Point, and I wanted to talk about that really quickly and then also just kind of what I mentioned that I really I had some goals for season two I met some of those goals and I mentioned that I really haven't fleshed out my goals for season three and I just wanted to talk about what's to come in season three and just really be excited the fact that I've been podcasting for a year so this will be really quick nothing too long And here we are. So yes, October 15th was the first post that I did in podcasting. And you can go and listen to that episode. I actually think I did two episodes that day and talked about why I started podcasting, why I wanted to start podcasting. And also one of my, actually my most popular episode was my initial podcasting episode, um, pandemic dating. Um, listen to that one too. (laughs) I didn't release that. I realized I'd never released that on YouTube. I probably should. I may go back and, and release that on YouTube, but, um, internal rambles is literally what it sounds like, right? It's the, I am a very random person. I say this all the time. If you're new, my thoughts race all the time. I I have a lot of interest. I did not want to pigeonhole what this podcast was going to be. So I didn't want it to be a music podcast. I didn't want to just be a mental health podcast. I wanted to be able to talk about whatever I wanted to talk about. And it's really just grown over the last year. I have broken up this podcast where it's in seasons every six months is a new season and I do that so I can think about what's been working and if it works I'll continue it if not I can not continue it (laughs) and then also it allows me to keep thinking fresh what do I want to do are there some goals what can I keep pushing forward what can I do differently just to keep this podcast growing 
So I don't know if I will always break this up in seasons, but this is where we are right now. <laughs> it's literally like a show. And I mentioned in my intro uh, episode that I've done, this is not new, doing anything in the kind of, um, I don't know what you would call this. I've, I've blogged before. I've had, I've been published before. I've done different entertainment things. This was just the next natural progression into interacting with the people, I think. I don't know. Um, so, but very different. I did not know how to start a podcast. I did not know anything about it. I literally had to research. And I had the bare bones material to start a podcast for a couple of months finally I was like okay Michelle stop playing around get it done and that was a trial and tribulation because I'm like how do I get the audio how do I import export but I figured it out and so here we are a year later and this podcast has grown and it's really kind of amazing to like go to Apple Podcasts and see that your podcast is on Apple Podcasts and to see that you have like people that listen to you and then in season two I decided to I'm okay so let me back up I'm pretty much everywhere that that you can get your podcast Apple Podcasts, CastBox, iHeartRadio, Spotify and then I decided to put my stuff on YouTube, which is very hit or miss as far as listenership. But I do have people that listen to the audio over there. But the thing about it is that YouTube is like, usually you want to see a visual, right? So I'm well aware of that. But I just thought it was just another way to get my content out there and just have an, an added interactive portion to my podcast. Because in previous endeavors, I've had that be interactive where people could interact with me interact with each other and so um and I understand that people may not want to interact with me via YouTube but you know people are interact with interact with me in other ways I now have an email address so that's really positive um so if you do want to interact with me internal rambles no space at YouTube but also I have my email address internal rambles at yahoo.com so just creating those and putting those out people have been reaching out to me and I appreciate that definitely via email people have been reaching out to me so hey whichever way works um (laughs) but um season two my goals were to create different content my top five albums I think I started that in season two for my favorite artist. I'm due for another one and I'll talk about that. And we started Read with Rochelle. So just a lot of different things. And so it's kind of trial and error. I'm going to try some different things. If they work, they work. And if not, they don't. Um, I have had people kind of reach out to me in regards to my podcast. I've been retweeted by some popular entertainment entities. So I've had some milestones and with my podcast, which is really super cool. So I was listening to this podcast I started following recently and they talked about how it was like the little engine that could and they've been, um, doing their podcast for I think three years or maybe four years and now they're finally seeing the fruits of their labor they now finally have like a stable listener listenership is that a word (laughs) um a stable following they're having opportunities they never dreamed of this is not meant to be a financial or a income source for me but just when I listen to them they're like we finally have like a stable enough audience space and they're like three four years in 
And so I feel like for my first year, I'm like, girl, you're doing good. And I think I have to forget what I used to do and the milestones I hit. Because I, 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 that's what I used to do and how I, you know, it just, it's different. It's a different time. I'm not, I still have not figured out how to fully promote my podcast. Um, and there's, there's levels to this and I, I do have boundaries I maintain myself in. So, um, yeah, uh, for what I'm doing, I, 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 yeah, I'm, I feel great about it. I don't, uh, some, some things do better than others. Um, what I wanted to say was this, and I have never mentioned this, but kudos to myself. So I listen to a few podcasts consistently. So like the don't call me white girls, the, um, daddy issues. So shout out, um, Demona and Tony Baker, Keon Poli. Oh God, there's five of them. <laughs> Tony Baker, Keon Poli, Craig Wayans, DC Irvin, and Chaz. Um, I also poke in and out of uh, Conan O'Brien's podcast, and um, oh, there's other podcasts I listen to. But and there's I'm the only podcast that I listen to frequently, or that I there is one podcast I listen to. Most of the podcasts I listen to, okay. There are multiple hosts, A, that I listen to. This is just me. So I know that there are people that it's just them. I'm just talking about from my viewership, listenership perspective. There's multiple hosts, A, but also they may have like a producer. They may have someone. This is just me. So content ideas every week is just me. If I do any editing or whatever, or and the only, and like I said, I don't edit these podcasts except for the music that gets put in the background. Sometimes I fumble really super bad and like, I got to edit that out, you know? And, and some things like really, when I mess up, like I, I messed up a free one in one of the episodes, I messed up a freeway lyric that hurted my soul. But I was like, I can't, I'm not going to edit it. I'm, I put it in the notes of the episode. You know, because I think I said the lyric was, um, it's a cold winter. You better bundle up. I said it was a cold summer. Bruh, I know my freeway. <laughs> um, and then there was like one in one of my episodes. It was like this horrific background noise. I don't even know what that was. But I was like, child, they'd be like, girl, what you doing? So some of those, and I'm not really good with editing, so it, that's why I, I also don't edit because I don't really know how to do it, okay? Um, <laughs> but the, also, the real reason why I don't edit is because this is really supposed to be raw, uncut, internal rambles, my thought process as it happens. So if I start editing and, like, you know, piecing in my content it really wouldn't be the true internal rambles of my thought process because I'd be all over the place um I'm very absent-minded at times and you don't really I don't think you hear that but you sometimes do hear where I'm on topic a maybe I go to b or I don't come in the point is for me to not come in with like topic a b c d e is for me to just be like oh I want to talk about this but then here's some other things that I've been thinking about but it just be me and so I'm proud that I've hit a year of podcasting and I don't have no help it's just me and so that is what I'm truly proud of it's just it's your girl Rochelle so if you've been listening to me I that's why I say I appreciate you if you're coming back or that you're listening because I, I hope I'm entertaining to you because it's just me there's no one out here when I have to figure out what to talk about and I'm not really a to I'm not a talkative person by nature I appreciate that so that's what I'm really proud of is that I hit a year of podcasting and ain't nobody helping me it's just me and I'm having to figure out how to do all of this on my own and so that's why my anniversary episode is so special because I've always wanted in season two that was my goal to have a guest I didn't know how to do that how to have a remote guest and how to like edit, how to create that and put it in a file. And 
that's why YouTube is a glorious thing. And I watched a few YouTube videos and one was really super helpful. And I found a program that helped me out and I was able to do that. And yeah, <laughs> so, um, so I'm really proud to be here a year later. I'm appreciative of all of you that listen and especially if you keep coming back, thank you. If you listen once, I appreciate it. But if you keep coming back, I really appreciate it. And you can you can reach me. And I I was in one of my recent episodes, like I Google myself from time to time. Hi, how you doing? And I I'm on platforms I, I've never even heard of. And so I what I've learned is when you do set your um host site you can pick where you want to be but that doesn't mean that that's only where you're going to be once you put your stuff out there it's it's out there and and there's one site that well anyways I won't get into it I'm really thankful for for all of (laughs) y'all so I appreciate I have a couple of reviews on Apple Podcasts leave me a review let me know what you're feeling what you're not feeling if you want to er- interact with me on youtube i would appreciate it because i pay for that i pay for my stuff to be on youtube um but i i pay for my well anyways if you want to you know reach out to me if you have something you want me to cover or if you i don't know there's some stuff going on in the news so all of this stuff this week has been pre-recorded and i'm like man i kind of want to talk about it so next week, the first episode of season three may be like old news, but there's a couple of things I kind of wanted to talk about. So I don't know if I will just go ahead and go with old news or start afresh, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate, you know, subscribe to me so you get my stuff immediately. Internal Rambles, the main content releases every Thursday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. My bonus content releases whenever I am able to post and release. Speaking of bonus content, this may be, this, uh, this is supposed to be a short episode. It's clearly not going to be. Um, but I mentioned recently, so I have been reviewing really reality shows. A, a few times I was reviewing like Married at First Sight and then Ready to Love at the same time. Moving forward, I will only be reviewing one reality show at a time because I just can't keep up with, with life and all this content and I want to put forth my best foot forward. I don't want to be super late with things and have to, you know what I'm saying? So it'll be one reality show at a time. And just in watching like recent episodes of these shows, I may need a new show. Ready to Love be stressing me out. I like the show, but oh God. Married at First Sight is actually the most lucrative show for me. It's the one that people listen to me about the most. So I'm struggling with, do I stay with what people really seem to want to hear reviews about or recaps about? Or do I want to branch out and and try a different show I don't know of any married at first so ready to love the season finale is next week and so I will recap the the rest of the season um married at first sight is probably going to end up ending in January I'm I'm being facetious (laughs) um but I don't know when the end of married at first sight is but I don't know of any show that's upcoming so I have to look into that um, so I don't know what the next show is going to be. I would like to try something different, to be told. So I don't know. Um, I don't know yet. Um, but speaking of reality shows, um, R.I.P. to Willie Spence. He recently passed away. He was the runner-up on American Idol. He was like 23 and he died Um in a car accident and he was just like such a sweet young man amazing voice so um just r.i.p to him that was like super i saw that kind of unfold on on social media last night and i was like what um gosh uh, so much death is happening lately so side note on that um so r.i.p to willie spence but um 
sorry to bring that in but that internal rambles it made me thought about like shows um i i think they're and the reason why i thought about that too is because i think they're doing the auditions for american idol i would never um, uh, review american idol only because i don't always watch the entire season but that made me think of that so anyways r.i.p to really spend so i um and his and uh condolences to his family and loved ones but um and sorry to like blurt that out if you if you weren't aware um but um I don't know what the next show is going to be and I don't know of anything I haven't looked in it too um and maybe I'll take a break from reality recaps I don't know but there's oh there's always a show that's on the horizon so we will see but I will only do one show at a time that is going to be the 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 new thing moving forward okay so let's talk about season three so in season two I had like multiple goals I hit a few of them Season three, I really only have three goals. Only, mm -hmm, I have a few goals. I'm not going to number them. One of them I can't talk about, and I'll get into why I can't talk about them. So the first goal is just like I mentioned, just always increase listenership. I want to increase my audience. That's just the goal. And so that's something that I am just trying to constantly work on and research and how can I continue to promote the podcast and get it out there and just continue to have y'all coming back, not just listen to one episode, but want to continue to hear more. And I would like to be to continue to the interaction, the interactiveness of this. So I know that podcasting the normal aspect of podcasting is not interactive but when you put it on different platforms and you do different things it can be interactive so I am adding interactive components to this podcast so that's why I'm saying that I would like this to have an interactive component the other goal which is I which is what I had in season two I did hit that mark is to have guests so this is a new announcement G.O., which was my anniversary mail perspective episode. The plan right now is subject to change, but the plan is to have him as a recurring guest. Um, and I don't know what that's going to look like. I know what we have discussed, <laughs> but I know life is what it is. So um, the plan is to continue to have him on and just talking about the male perspective and to have him on regularly and I can't say what the frequency of that is going to be but continue to look out for him to uh, be a guest on this podcast so I hope you enjoyed it because he'll be back and you know he's one of my best friends so um I'm excited that he wants to continue to be a part of this podcast so uh, continue to look out for content with Gio. As I mentioned in a in recent podcast, I do have another potential guest lined up. So there's no time frame of that. Sometime uh, this person is like extremely busy, and then with my schedule, and so that's why I'm like within the next six months or so. <laughs> I hope to have this person on and talking about something really different that I've never really, like I vaguely have mentioned, but we've already discussed what the topic is going to be. So if I can knock or knock down or settle down a time and a date to get this person on, I would love to have them. So that is the goal is to continue to have guests on this podcast to bring another extra layer and judge to the podcast. So um, I'm excited about that. The other goal is I am due, like I mentioned, I think I kind of mentioned recently in uh, earlier in the podcast, I'm due for another top five albums for my favorite artists. I've already done Jodeci, Tony Braxton and Stained. So I'm going to go into another genre. I believe it's going to be hip hop. 
I think I know what the artist is going to be, but I don't want to say it because that is subject to change. So be on a lookout, I would say, within the next month or two for that episode, that bonus episode of another top five albums from my favorite artist. Excited about that. And then we do have, of course, Read with Rochelle. We are reading Anxious People. And there'll be another check-in in November. And then we are discussing the book on December 8th. I hope you're doing well with the reading of that. So this is my goal with this. Um, like I said, I'm just trial and error. We're going to try stuff out. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. With Read with Rochelle, if this doesn't... it's I said I was hesitant to call it a book club. It's an unconventional book club, right? We read a book for a few months and then we discuss it. If I don't have a lot of interaction with that, a lot of interactive niche with that, I will move on because it, it's hard to keep up with something like that. Especially like reading has not been, uh, reading has been challenging with me. So to have all this bonus content along with my main content is it's it's difficult. So it's something I'm trying out. I I'm committing to this, and you're hearing it here first. I will commit to three books. If it doesn't have a lot of traction by book three, by the end of book three, then I will do away with Read with Rochelle. So we'll see what happens. Uh, so join me with Read with, with Rochelle. I'm excited about it, you know. Um, but I know that reading can be challenging and just to set that aside. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> set aside that time. So... So that is the goal, just continuing to in, increase engagement and listenership, guests on the podcast, um, read with Rochelle, and figure out what the next reality recap is going to be. Now, there's something that I'm working on. I was hoping, oh God, to get it done by October 15th. I didn't even start it. I researched it. I didn't do anything with it. I'm hoping within the next month. I'm not announcing it because it may not come to fruition. But it's just another thing I would like to have for the podcast. So we will see. So there's another goal that I have that I can't announce because it may not happen. So always working, striving, and surviving. <laughs> so if I can get it together, it, it would be great. I think a great thing for the podcast. So. Um, my goal, my re my, my like ambitious goal was like, Oh, by October 15th, my realistic goal is give yourself a month and, and maybe you can get it together. So I'm giving myself a month, um, from October 15th to hopefully by November 15th, I can have it at least done. And if I'm satisfied with it, I will put it out to y'all. So that's the other thing. If I'm not satisfied with it, I won't release it. So, um, that's that. And so that is it. That's the, that's the anniversary episode, just celebrating a year of podcasting, a year of doing this thing. I'm excited. I'm thankful. I'm, you know, it's like you come up with these ideas, like I'm going to do this and then you do it and you're like, Oh, okay. I, I enjoy, I don't know if I'm going to like it and you enjoy it. And people seem to be coming back and listening and, you know, some things, some episodes do better than others, but I do know people are listening and I, I'm just going to keep plugging along. Like I said, I don't, uh, you know, this is, uh, I don't, this is not anything to have like a, a salary from it or I'm not doing this to like make this a career and that's okay. It's not meant to be, but I enjoy it and I'm appreciative of all of you. I need to do also, side note, another goal, another like self-care wellness episode. And then we will continue always with the periodic life updates, etc. That's also coming, of course, in, in season three, sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I enjoy it. And I'm just, I'm, I can't believe I've hit a year. It, it went by quick, even though sometimes I'm like, oh my goodness, I haven't done my episode. What the heck am I going to talk about? But it's it's been coming together, so I'm thankful for you all. Check me out wherever you get your podcast episodes. Amazon, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google, 
I also release my audio on YouTube, interact with me over there, or like I said, like I keep saying this whole episode, you can in- email me at internalrambles at yahoo.com. Thank you for everything. Tell your mother, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your auntie, whoever, to also check me out and subscribe to me so that you get my content immediately. And if you stumbled upon this anniversary episode and you did not, anniversary celebratory episode, you didn't actually check out my anniversary episode with G.O., the male perspective, check that out. And my previous content, thank you for everything. I appreciate all of you and look out for season three, episode one next week. I appreciate, I appreciate, appreciate. I'm going to continue to say it because I really do appreciate every time I see someone listening or downloading or whatever. That's just so exciting because I'm like, y'all don't have to listen to me. Like, who am I, right? (laughs) Um, And thank you. And like I always say, take care of yourself. And if you are able to, take care of each other. And until next episode, talk to you soon.